Strangey Tales presents a hero for the ages. I'm Robin Good, and these are my good friends, the Merry Men. We fundraise from the rich and give to the poor. Care for some fresh squeezed lemonade? It really is a good cause. How about an overpriced candy bar? It's for the kids. But times are tough. And you know why times are tough? I'll tell you why. Prince John, that's why. When the greedy prince schemes to foil their every good deed. Understand the prince of ham, I am. It's robbery what he's doing. The merry men decide to take matters into their own hands. Well, I'm not robbing from anyone. If you're not vegetable enough to fight the man, then we will. Come on, merry men. Are you guys with me? Absolutely. Losing his best friends may be too much for Robin. That must really hurt. Yeah, it sure does. Meanwhile, the not-so-merry men spring into action. Boys, I got a plan! We're bringing home the bacon! <laughs> but when things turn sour, uh -oh. can Robin save them? Incoming! What are we gonna do? Will Robin learn that there's no hurt too big for God? Give all your burdens to the Lord, and He will take care of you. Plus, a brand new silly song is unwrapped. We're gonna snap, snap, snap that bad dog. Did that just happen? A very special Veggie Tales lesson on handling hurt. Robin Good and his not so merry men own it on DVD today. Veggie Tales. I must be named the most beautiful in the kingdom tomorrow. Ring, ring. The mirror speaks. Must be from sharper image. If true beauty is what you seek, then your answer is sweet be beauty. This is terrible news. I am no longer the most beautiful in the kingdom. It's easy to banish one girl. This sweet pea shall be banished. Veggie Tales presents Sweet Pea Beauty, a girl after God's own heart. An enchanting fairy veggie tale. It's God who sees the beauty in everything. I just choose to agree with him. It's a story about the real meaning of true beauty. Beauty on the inside is what truly matters. I know those were totally princess stories, but I think I get the picture. Anyone can learn a thing or two from a princess story, Larry. Veggie Tale Sweet Pea Beauty. Own it on DVD today. A lesson in true beauty from the studios of Big Idea. Princess Poppy Seed. I live on my family's pie farm with my mom and dad. This is our house too! And my three sisters. We have a lot of animals. Oh, and how could I forget my little brother Pepper? Yay! My life's pretty good, but I've always dreamed about being a pop star, like the incredibly awesome Banana Banana. Sweet life, but that's not everything. Only Vanna Banana could have everything she wants and still want more. Oh, snap! What's so great about being special if it means I'm always alone? Is there something somewhere? A special someplace out there? Who would have thought that I would one day not only meet Vanna Banana, but I would have a chance to be Vanna Banana? We look exactly the same. It's like looking into a mirror. Why don't, Why don't we, we give, give it, it a try? try? I finally got a chance to make my dreams come true. And then I got a chance to live a normal life like she always wanted. <gasps> oh! God uses the good times and the tough times to make us who he wants us to be. Every life has both. But things aren't turning out quite like we thought they would. What's happened to her voice? But that's not everything! Ugh. I gotta get LASIK. And Vanna's having a few troubles of her own. How hard could this be? Ah! I don't understand. I'm not princess. What? 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 Everybody, in the truck! Let's go bring princess home! Now things are getting really crazy. Princess! Help! Huh? Seems like trading places wasn't such a good idea after all. God made Vanna to be Vanna, and he made me to be me. I thought of that. See how it all turns out in Princess and the Pop Star, a lesson about being yourself. 
from VeggieTales. VeggieTales presents If I Sang a Silly Song. The silliest, the funniest, the happiest, the monkeyest? Yeah, monkeyest. <clears throat> Best silly songs in the history of silly songs. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. It's a silly song telethon where we count down all the way to the number one silly song of all time. Ooh, what'll be number one? Will it be Dance of the Cucumber? Eating a puppino. Watch the cucumber. It's why this movie oh, and how smooth his motion. Or maybe Endangered Love. Manatee. You are the what? Larry? Maybe it's the hairbrush song. Where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where? In my hairbrush. Or will it be a new silly favorite? Ooh, what about the one about biscuits? Come on, oh, hey. let's go! Not only do we have biscuits, we've got sippy cups, turtles, and pants. And announcing an all-new surprise silly song selected by Larry from thousands of fan submissions. I get all bubbly just thinking about it. Discover the top 20 favorites of all time, plus a brand new never before heard silly song. The fans have spoken. If I sang a silly song, own it on DVD today from VeggieTales. <laughs> a nose, no, 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 bigger. Put some eyes there. And done. Hey, Larry, what you doing? Oh, hi, Bob. I'm making a card. For who? Juan Marco Cifuentes. Uh, who's Juan Marco Cifuentes? Fed Cifuentes. That's hard to say. Cifuentes. Not really. So who is he? Who is Juan Marco Cifuentes? Bob, he's a little boy I've been sponsoring through World Vision for like three years. He lives in Colombia, South America. Really? Oh, well, yeah. We write letters and pictures. I even send him birthday cards. I made this one myself. Why couldn't the plane take off? It's great, Bob. I'm helping Juan Marco, his family, his whole community. With a birthday card? Well, I'm helping him grow strong by helping providing things he really needs, like clean water, food, education, all kinds of stuff. Look, I have his picture on the fridge. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, Larry. Juan Marco's got a lot of potential, and I'm sharing God's love with him by helping him reach it. Plus, he helps me remember to share and be thankful. Wow. It sounds like Juan Marco is a great friend. He sure is. Uh, by the way, why couldn't the plane take off? Oh. Because the pilot was a tomato? Happy birthday. What? Is that a joke? It's funny in Spanish. It is? ¿Por qué el piloto era un tomate? I don't get it. Trust me, it's hilarious. I'm gonna go mail it. Tell Juan Marco, I'm sure I could fly if I took lessons. VeggieTales and World Vision are two different organizations that share the same goal, to help parents raise children. That's why they've become proud partners in connecting families here at home with families around the world. Moms and kids that share the same dreams but don't have the same means. There's a lot of things in this environment that tell kids that they're not special and um, they don't have value and they don't have worth. And I've seen these other moms and they're just like me. They, they want their kids to, to know that they're special and that they're loved. Moms are the same no matter where they are. They want the same things for their children. They want them to be safe, secure, to know Jesus. And I'm seeing World Vision give moms the opportunity and the resources to have tools to raise their own kids for the Lord. When you support a child through World Vision, you make an impact on the family and community as well. Mothers' burdens become lighter, schools become stronger, and communities become healthier. Sponsorship also strengthens your children by instilling the values you want to teach them most. Through child sponsorship, we're able to teach my son about the poor, about what it means to serve others. We're able to teach him about loving God. Our boys will now know that there are people outside of our walls and outside of our community that need our help. 
I love that VeggieTales and World Vision are coming together to help us teach that to our kids. For just $35 a month, you and your child can help create a brighter future for a family in need. Your support, gifts, and letters are easy and effective ways to bring about lasting change. Become partners with VeggieTales and World Vision today and teach your children by blessing others. What you doing? Helping my mom. What do you mean, helping your mom? Well, I heard about this great thing called MOPS. It stands for Mothers of Preschoolers. Oh, I've heard of that. And, well, I'm a preschooler. And she's my mother. Junior? And sometimes being the mother of a preschooler can be challenging. Or so I'm told. Why is there water dripping from the ceiling? Because sometimes kids can do things like fill up the bathtub so their webkins can go sailing, but then forget to turn off the faucet. And that's where Mops comes in. You know, for support and stuff. Mops. Mothers of preschoolers understands, and you are not alone. At a Mops group, you can find real mom friends just like you who share your struggles and offer encouragement and support. Mops knows you want to be the best mom possible. More information is available at mops.org slash VeggieTales. Good thinking. Junior Honey, can we talk? Okay. I'll finish signing her up. Good luck. Ah, uh, hey, Mom. Wow, your hair looks really great when it's wet. So there's this really cool thing called Mops. Veggie Tales and Mercy Ministries are partnering to help young girls know that there's no hurt too big for God and that they're loved no matter what. Even though Veggie Tales is for, you know, younger children, to even have something that foundational, especially the story of the penniless princess, a lot of the girls can relate to because They've come from situations where it didn't seem like there was any hope. Mercy Ministries is a Christian organization that serves girls ages 13 to 28 who come free of charge for counseling, support, and a safe place to live, all thanks to the generous partnerships of supporters. You and your family can play a vital role in transforming lives for less than a dollar a day. Join our Mercy 360 program. Your gift of $30 a month helps us provide the care so many hurting girls desperately need. I didn't have um, a father figure in my life telling me, you know, that you're valuable, um, you're lovable. I had to be shown love. They loved me for who I was and not for what I did. I think that really conveyed to me how no matter what I do, he accepts me just as I am. Any girl that comes into this program is broken, choosing to engage in lifestyles that are destructive or behaviors that are destructive. And why do we do that? Because we don't know who we are. We don't know that we're special and we don't know that we're loved. To learn more about how you and your family can bring hope and healing to young girls around the world, please head to mercyministries.com. Mercy Ministries is um, equipping young girls to overcome uh, through the revelation of God's love. Join Veggie Tales and Mercy Ministries, and together we can help restore one hurting girl at a time. Yeah.